Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the state diagram of a counter. State diagram. State diagram of a counter. All right. Now you know what a state is basically. The state is what? State is nothing but the number, but the counts that a counter is making. All right. State is what? The counts that a counter is making. And the number of states are equal to 2 to the power n, which is equal to 2 to the power n, where n is what? Is the number of bits. And the maximum count you know is 2 to the power n minus 1. Fine. So now we draw the state diagram. Let's say for example, for example, we have a state diagram of a 2-bit counter. So 2-bit counter means what? That it, can, it has states of 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 states. And maximum count of 3. Fine. So what is the first number that it counts? This is a 0, 0. Fine. The second is a 0, 1. The third is a 1, 0. And finally the 1, 1. So these are the states. You write it in this way. You encircle them like this. You encircle them like this. Oh, is that fine? This is state number one. This is state two. This is state three. And this is the final state four. Oh, and the maximum count is three. Now this could be either an up counter, it could be a it could it could be a down counter. So you have to indicate which direction the counter is counting. For example, if this is the count, which means you have to indicate the, the present state in the next state. For example, the counter is counting up, so it starts from 0, 0. So the next state for up counter would be the 0, 1. And for 0, 1, the next state could be 1, 0 if it is up counting. For 1, 0, it will be 1, 1. And for 1, 1, it would go back and reset to 1, to 0, 0. Is that fine? So this is what? This is for for up counting for up counting all right now similarly if it is down counting so it will start from a maximum of 1 1 fine then it will go in this way from to 1 0 from 1 0 it will go to 0 1 from 0 1 it could go to 0 0 and now you reset it back to 1 1 to reach its initial state this green color represents the down counting so this is all about the state diagram, all right? For example, let's say you have a 3-bit counter. For example, you have a 3-bit counter. So 3-bit counter does what? It has a max it has a states is 2 to the power 3 is 8 and maximum count is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 which is 7, all right? So and you need 3 bits, all right? So what are the three bits? You have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Did I draw it properly? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Yes. So I made it properly, all right? So you, you encircle them like this somewhere. This is not a circle, but just enclose them like this fine all right so this becomes your states you have mentioned your states this is the state number one all the way moving up to this is the final state that is the state number eight all right now again you have to be representing the up and the down counting so the up counting will start from zero 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 and it will go in this way as the red color is indicating this is for up counting again fine and for down counting you have from 111 so it will come to 110 
then from 110 to 101, then to 100, then to 011, to 010, to 001, and finally to 000, and then back to 111. So this is your downturn. Is that clear? So this was just a small topic. This is there's a great detail of the straight diagram, but that is not required for you at this level. You only needed the straight diagram of a counter. And that is what you need to know and that is what I have explained and that's all for today. So see you very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.